Hello viewers, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. I want to, to do a couple of things today. Uh, of course, we have a date now for Moolah, May the 15th. Uh, he's been negotiating with the Democrats and likely he will be speaking, uh, testifying before the Congress on May the 15th. Originally, Trump said, it's OK, I'm quite happy for Moolah to uh, testify. Now he's winding that back, saying that he shouldn't. Um, now, at this stage, Moolah is testifying. My goodness, wouldn't there be um, hell to pay if uh, either Trump or Barr prevented Moolah from speaking to Congress. Um, so the card of hope is just falling out of uh, out of this reading already. So I want to look at Mueller's Congress, uh, Mueller's testimony in Congress. Um, you know, what's it? What is going to be uh, the reaction to it? What sort of information is he going to bring forward? I also want to look at how the Democrats are going to go or are going uh, with the release of uh, the full Mueller report. We'll have a look at that, and then I want to move to Trump in May. So quite a long reading. Um, let's get started. Uh, I'll bring the laptop down and we'll see what the cards are going to bring forward. So we'll start off with Mueller's testimony. Robert Mueller testi testifying in Congress 15th of May. 15th of May. What's jumping out? Okay, this is a victory for Mueller. I'm, I'm feeling the energy around that, uh, you know, as past readings have brought um, forward. I do have to stop uh, just before we go any further and... Um, and also, uh, it's now bringing for uh, it's now coming out that Mueller may have been uh, finished up too soon, um, and of course uh, that came out in my reading. I was quite. Um, I guess I, you know, quite surprised that that came out. I didn't have anything to base it on other than a hunch or a feeling that uh, he might have been, um, you know, quite a, a way down the road with his investigation, but I didn't ever feel he was finished. And I think that that, uh, I still think that was the case. So appearing before Congress is actually a victory for Mueller uh, in the Six of Wands and a victory for uh, the Democrats and, and not just for, for the Democrats, but anyone that is interested in hearing and finding out the truth because we do not have the uh, full Mueller report. Uh, none none of the congressional leaders have seen the full Mueller report. I guess it's worth asking uh, is if uh, the White House has seen the full Mueller report, we'll ask that. Now, what is the challenge to Mueller's testimony? These are the Republicans and while uh, they're closing ranks, if you like, um, and this is also uh, spying, it's also gossiping, it uh, can be a little bit of slandering here. I feel that the Republicans are going to be uh, smearing um, wherever they can, smearing Mueller's reputation, smearing the Mueller, uh, the, the Mueller report, uh, smearing the investigation. And we're, we're seeing that coming forward in the president's tweets. But they need to be careful of that strategy because Mueller actually is... Um, is quite well perceived. Um, now, the foundation of the reading is the Two of Pentacles, and this is the juggling that um, is currently uh, going on at the moment. I feel Mueller is trying to juggle uh, the enormity uh, of, of the situation he's been placed in. Um, uh, his investigation has been undermined here. This is also the card of manipulation. So I think before we get to May the, the, sixth, May the 15th, watch for that manipulation. Is that going to prevent Mueller from test testifying? I don't think so, but it's a bit of a worrying card in the foundation of the reading because in the past we've got the Five of Swords, which is the abuse of power here. Okay, so victory for Mueller, victory for getting him uh, before the Congress, Republicans doing some smearing and some manipulation on all fronts. Uh, there has been there has been a, an abuse of power. Mueller is right in the middle of that situation, unfortunately. Now, the potential of this present uh, situation here, uh, we've got the Six of Pentacles, which has come forward so strongly in our uh, reading. The reason that they are trying to stop Mueller from testifying has to do uh, with uh, the money trail. What are the Democrats going to ask Mueller? Are they going to ask him uh, whether or not he looked at uh, Trump's financial um, dealings, whether or not, more importantly, whether he was stopped, whether he was hamstrung, whether William Barr or even Rod Rosenstein said don't go there. Something is going to come up around the money that uh, the Republicans and Trump do not want emerging here. 
All right. Now, the fu the immediate future is the government, the hierophant. Now, that can sometimes be my card for the courts. Um, I'm feeling that uh, that Mueller will actually be able to testify because I feel that the uh, I guess the government, the laws, uh, e indeed the special counsels, um, the way special counsels uh, conduct their investigations, uh, are you know it is almost expected that they would be testifying before Congress. But the situation at the moment is theft and betrayal, uh, and uh, this is why it's such a victory to get Mueller on the stand here. This is Barr. This is Trump. This is the Republicans. The cover-ups here. Um, now, the uh, Knave of Cups here uh, in the environment around, this is a message, a surprising message uh, that could come forward. I'm not sure we'll get some clarity on that, a surprising message that may come forward in relation to this situation. The Hopes and Fears is the uh, Knave of Pentacles, uh, and there is a duality uh, to this card. So I feel that the uh, hope, this is in the Hopes and Fears position, I feel that we actually fear that the rug might be pulled out from underneath us, uh, and in some way uh, Trump is going to, Trump and his, uh, and his personal lawyer, William Barr, will stop <laughs> Robert Mueller from testifying. Uh, now, the Six of Swords here is indicating uh, a relocation, a moving on into less troubled waters. Yeah, and the clarifying cards are, uh, is the hangman, which is things stalling, not moving forward or not moving backwards, and a restriction here. These aren't good, uh, good cards. Um, I asked, you know, what, uh, you know, what would Mueller be bringing forward? Um, uh, and I'm I'm seeing that he will be restricted in some way. Uh, there is a balance. Uh, 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 what is hidden from our view are uh, the Republicans, Trump, Barr, are trying to balance the situation in their favour. I'm just going to get some clarity. Um, let me just some clarity on that knave of chalices because that's suggesting some kind of uh, news is coming here in relation to Mueller testifying. Let's pull some uh, cards, some additional cards here. So, so can I have some clarity around the knave of cups, the knave of cups, some clarity around the knave of cups, some clarity, please. We have the theft and betrayal. We have some news coming forward. Uh, is this in relation to Mueller's testimony or is it in relation to something um, that they might pull out of a hat before the May 15th date? All right, let's have a look here. Okay, we've got the hangman. It could be that his, um, what's this? He could be he's restricted, Mueller's restricted in some way. Yeah, there's a re-evaluation going on here, uh, re-evaluation in terms of managing something. Will Mueller uh, actually testify? That's the question I didn't ask. At this point in time, it's uh, showing that he will. Okay, so we've got commerce and expansion. We've got the three of wands here. I'm feeling that, the, I mean, this is a positive card. There's a, in this particular deck, it's associated with the freedom, with something that's being released from us that uh, is allowing us to, uh, to be free free. Um, so will Mueller uh, actually testify? Let's just clarify that. Will Mueller testify? Will Mueller testify? Okay, so yeah, the Page of Cups. All right, so this <laughs> this is the same card that was in the environment around. We've got we've got a message here. We've got some sort of news coming forward, and we've got the Empress. Okay, I do feel he will testify. Um, I do feel that the Republicans are trying to stop him uh, because what he's going to bring forward is quite strong. Let's have a look at the Six of Pentacles. Uh, will Mueller bring forward in his testimony uh, information on Trump's um, financial? Um, or whether or not he was stopped from going there, what will he bring forward information on Trump's financials? Will Mueller, in his testimony, bring forward something around Trump's financials? Okay, let's have a look at this. Yeah, okay, new beginnings. Um, so this is suggesting interesting beginnings and also the full. Let's keep going with that. Uh, and the government, okay, okay. I think that's how how Trump how Trump got elected. Um, I'm going to uh, close. So 
not a difficult the, well difficult conditions in this uh, in this in this reading coming up. I feel that uh, the Republicans are going to try and stop stop Moore from testifying. Trump doesn't want him to testify. Uh, I'm going to ask directly whether or not Mueller was finished early. Um, Earlier than usual, my reading, as I said, came forward that he was, uh, and was this because he was uh, um, examining Trump's um, finances or he was precluded in some way from examining Trump's finances? So, And if that is the case, will he bring this out in the testimony? So how are we going to word this question? Will information regarding Trump's finances come up in the uh, Mueller's testimony? Will Mueller be talking about uh, or uh, letting people know that he was actually precluded from uh, from discussing those financials? So we've got the Queen of Cups uh, suggesting that there is information here that hasn't come out yet. And we've got the obstacles being put in the way uh, to ensure that that information doesn't come out. Let's keep going. Okay, we've got the money news. So it is suggesting that uh, the page of um, Pentacles, this suggesting here, this card always came up in my Mauler readings during his investigation, um, that perhaps he was getting uh, close to, to that sort of information. But uh, we've got a compromise, some sort of compromise here in the past and the tower moment. I feel that he is going to be talking about the constraints on his investigation uh, and I feel that that's not going to be positive for um, uh, positive for Trump or Barr. Uh, the immediate future, we've got fortune changing here, fortune changing for the better. And we've got, uh, I, I do feel Barr and Trump isolated uh, yeah, but the environment around is the uh, is the devil. This is greed here. This is being chained to something. Uh, I feel this is Trump <laughs> being chained. Um, now the deals, hopes and fears. What information are they trying to hold back? It is uh, it is uh, partnerships deals. Who Trump got into bed with, um, and for what reason? Financial gain. So, um, yeah. Here's the Emperor card, the Autocrat. Yeah, I'm prizing open the truth. So this reading, what's hidden from our view is loss, loss and sorrow. I feel that um, the question we asked here was Mueller hamstrung in some way in um, following the money. Let's just put it like that. Um, one of my viewers came forward in relation to the, um, the matter that was before the grand jury uh, where Mueller was going after information, I thought from a financial inst institution um, that has actually been that work on that has been stopped. I haven't checked that. Um, I haven't gone and looked for a link to tell me that. But um, you know, just confirming, uh, will it come out that Mueller was was actually finished up sooner than what he thought? Let's just cut these. Give them a. His, his testimony is going to be explosive. I really do believe that. Um, but it's going to be hard, uh, I think, in the, the week, this week and next week uh, leading up to his testimony. I feel that everything is going to be pulled out to stop him, to stop him from testifying. I feel that he will testify, but I just feel that they're going to, um, they're going to be putting roadblocks in his way. So uh, once Mueller's on the stand... Yep, okay, so we've got the emotion of this situation. We'll just leave that. Uh, and, of course, the other aspect of that card is new starts. Um, will Mueller be able to say that he was finished up a little bit too early? Will he be asked that question? What do we need to know about that? Will Mueller be uh, asked if he was finished up too early? What do we need to know? Okay, so we've got the King of Wands here. We've got the uh, some kind of boss here coming over the top, I feel, of Moolah. And we've got the Queen of Swords suggesting the truth actually will come out. And we've got the Eight of Swords suggesting that he was restricted in some way. And we have the Knight of Swords. Again, the truth is going to come out that he was restricted by his boss. This may not be Bar. This could be actually Rosenstein as well. Uh, and we've got... Uh, 
things neither moving forward nor backwards um, and what's hidden from our view is our Queen of Cups suggesting there's more information that, uh, that uh, uh, is uh, being held there that hasn't been revealed yet. So I do feel that this is a bit of a snapshot into Moolah's testimony. Um, I guess in summary, um, they're going to make it difficult for him to get on the stand. I feel that they're, uh, between now and then, Trump will be trying everything to stop him getting on the stand. I feel that um, he will actually testify. Um, that's my feeling today at this stage on May the uh, 6th, 10 days in front of his testimony. We'll do an update closer to that day. Um given the obstacles they're going to throw out there. I do feel that a couple of important pieces of information will come forward in his testimony. That's around him not being, being restricted in some way uh, in his investigation and particularly around Trump's money, following uh, Trump's money. I feel that there was a restriction there potentially from Rosenstein. Um, now... Okay, well, Mueller's testimony increase the need, uh, I guess no. Well, Mueller's testimony, make it clear Trump has to go, be impeached or go, or resign, or will it stand in his way in 2020? All those options are on the table. Will Mueller's testimony be uh, an important uh, factor in um, Trump not remaining as president? Let's just ask that. Moore's testimony, Trump's downfall. I feel that Pelosi and her team are getting uh, getting angrier and angrier. We've got Illumination and the Sun card, which is generally a yes card. Moore's testimony, uh, challenged by the Six of Wands. I don't see that as a challenge. There are two. That's two strong messages coming uh, coming forward here. But uh, he's got to get before on the stand first, hasn't he? Uh, that's where I feel the challenge may be um, because that card came forward, the Six of Wands came forward in the first reading. Now, the, the um, foundation of the reading is it's uh, somebody is going to be mortally wounded here. Uh, well, I won't say mortally, but wounded, the Four of Swords. It's suggesting a retreat by uh, potentially by the President. Uh, in the past, we have the Three of Pentacles. This is, uh, the, you know, who teamed up with whom. This is dark money and politics. And we've got the hanged man uh, suggesting that Trump's uh, presidency will be stalled in some way by Mueller's testimony. The Nine of Cups in the immediate future. It looks like we're going to get our wish in some way, which is coming true. Uh, at the moment, there is a lot of uh, self-defence on the path, part of uh, Trump and the Republicans. Uh, and the environment around, there is definitely judgment going on there. In um, Judgment, I think, by the uh, voters uh, and not in Trump's favour. And we've got hopes and fears. We've got the uh, ending of the presidency here in the hope spot. However, we have the autocrat as the um, outcome card. Let's get a clarifier on this. We've got the chariot, things coming forward strongly and quickly. Uh, and we've got uh, more balance coming into the frame. Uh, what's hidden from our view is the Knight of Swords, which is the truth coming forward. I, I think Mueller's, uh, it's fair to say Mueller's testimony will um, will illuminate and will contribute to the, um, the ending of the Trump presidency. He is crossed at the moment by his appearance, though. I do feel that the Republicans are going to be putting some um, obstacles and challenges in, in their way, but it is definitely showing that information is going to come forward quite strongly um, on, on uh, you know, I guess on Trump uh, and on uh, the part. I don't know whether we he, Mueller would be able to tell or to tell us what's in the uh, unredacted or the redacted uh, parts of his report. But he can, he will certainly be asked if he his investigation um, was nudged a bit too you know to finish up a bit uh, a bit too soon. Uh, he will also have to tell us if there were any restrictions on his investigation in relation to following the money. So let's ask if Congress will uh, see the full unredacted copy of the Mueller report. Congress get to see 
the full unredacted copy of the Mueller report. Will Congress get to see the full unredacted copy of the Mueller report? Okay, so we've got the Two of Cups, so we've got relationships coming forward here. Um, collaborations, relationships, partnerships. Interesting. Challenged by uh, inspiration, by the Knight of Wands, inspired action. So that's in the challenge position. So I feel that the Democrats are trying to get that unredacted report. They need the help of the Republicans uh, and, you know, and, and, and both are inspired. One is inspired to hide, the other is inspired to unearth the truth. Now, the foundation of the reading is the government, so I feel that um, the law will have the last say here. Um, I do feel that they are going to see the unredacted uh, copy uh, because I feel in the past we've got new starts being the ultimate goal here new relationships, new starts. The potential of the present moment, moment though, is, is secrets, uh, you know, trying to hide things, secrets needing to be um, unearthed. And then we've got the immediate future. We've got, I feel, William Barr here, uh, all the... Yeah, I do feel this is the law here, or the Attorney General and the Attorney General's office um, trying to hide those secrets. The Five of Pentacles uh, situation at the moment is lost, so I feel that um, we don't have the unredacted report, and that that is a that is a loss for us. The King of Cups in the that's interesting. Now I'm going to go back here. Um, the King of Cups uh, is generally my bar card, uh, and as I said, it can be inverted. That's in the environment around. That's what's causing our loss. But I'm going to go back to the immediate future here. This card came forward before potentially as Rod Rosenstein. That's interesting. Something more is coming from Rosenstein, I feel, and it's not going to necessarily be a negative. The hopes and fears is the restriction. I'm not sure. I'll draw some clarity on that card. Um, something more is coming from Rosenstein. It's not necessarily a negative in relation to this question. The final outcome card is somebody's walking away here. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles suggesting that... Um, well, this generally is the family card, um, family, wealth, returning to, to, to past times, reunions with uh, a more innocent time. And what we've got here is the Four of Pentacles. What's hidden from our view is insecurity. I'm just going to ask for some, cl uh, some clarification on that King of Wands uh, because I'm feeling that is a Rod Rosenstein card. I'll... Uh, what do we need to know about Rosenstein at the moment? He's left the Department of Justice. He did so with tongue-in-cheek. Um, there's a cloud over him. Uh, some see that he's failed. Some see that he's um, he, he had to withstand quite difficult times. Uh, what do we need to know about Rosenstein? What do we need to know about this King of Wands? Some clarity, please. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles here, which is indicating uh, independence, uh, and we've got um, this tug-o'-war, factionalism, obstacles. Oh, okay, is something going to emerge around why Rosenstein did what he did? hidden from our view is new starts the ten of pentacles again family uh family money something's going to come forward some news is going to come forward um to do with rod rosenstein i don't even know why he's turned up in this reading something around potentially why what ha that he was restricted in some way is this is, is this going to come out in the Mueller the Mueller testimony is that what we're going to see Mm, interesting. Keep your eye on that one. I haven't got to the bottom of that yet. Now, uh, let's have a quick look at Trump in May. We'll give a um, we'll give this uh, reading a bit of a shuffle. Um, 
actually no well, I'll do Trump in May in a different reading but uh, I'll ask I do want to ask um, is Trump going to try and stop Maul, uh, Mueller from testifying is Trump going to try and stop Mueller from testi testifying Trump going to try and stop Mueller from testifying yes he is yep the Eight of Swords restriction is going to try and restrict his testimony in some way. What's uh, crossing this is loss. He's reacting to the loss, but that is a challenge to him. It's in the challenge position, so it's going to be quite clear why he is uh, why he's trying to restrict Mauler. We've got the um, the Star of Hope as the foundation of the reading here, and uh, I do feel that hope has that uh, greater momentum in this situation. Um, in the past, we've got Trump trying to smear, smear Mueller's uh, name here. What's hanging over all of this is the new beginnings. New beginnings. The card came up there before. Um, but this fool, it can also has another aspect in terms of the fool is about to jump off the walk off the cliff. Ah, so it could be. Ah, yeah, okay. Yep. Immediate future endings and beginnings here. The eyes of the world are on Trump. What this is saying is that if he does try and stop Mueller, he's actually going to just contribute to the idea that Trump is obstructing justice. Secrets to be revealed. That's exactly what he's afraid of. Um, yep, the Seven of Swords. Uh, this is around uh, trying to get away with something. This is what is in the atmosphere at this time. And uh, what uh, Trump is scared of, this is following the money, who's he, who he was indebted to. Uh, and we've got the outcome card, Trump will retreat, which is in line with my reading that Mueller actually would testify. This is messages being coming through the messenger card. Um, Mueller actually has something to say and will be saying it. And, you know, this is the voter. Uh, the, the You know, my card for, for Americans now. Um, so what's hidden from our view? The King of Wands again. What's hidden from our view? This card has come up three times in the reading. So it's important. It's important to us. What's hidden from our view? Uh, I do feel this is the law in some way. Uh, so it may not uh, in this reading refer to anyone in particular, but I do feel this is the law. So I feel that the law is um, is clear around Mauler's testimony. He wouldn't have consented to um appearing before Congress if the law wasn't on his side. But Trump's going to try and stop him. Trump's going to try and restrict him. Uh, and he's going to come out if he does that. Uh, it's going to be quite a foolish action because it will show that uh, he's actually trying to obstruct justice yet again. And uh, the bottom line, as it came forward the other day for us, is uh, uh, trying to hide that financial information. So there's the reading on Mueller. Um, I'll close this down and I'll do Trump in May as my, as my next reading. Thank you very much for your support, viewers. Uh, very much appreciated and I'll see you again for another reading. Thank you.